What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to configure your uh, Mixer channel the right way so you guys can get started with live streaming. So let's get started, obviously, right after the intro. right now I would like to introduce you guys to own3d.tv the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming whether it's overlays alerts alert sounds panels stinger transitions sub emotes sub badges bit badges website for streamers an avatar maker everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website no matter if you're looking for streaming overlays gaming overlays itself talking overlays webcam overlays stream panels stream banners these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream Everything is on this website, guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away, guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description. Start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now, let's continue with the video. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are on Mixer.com. Right now, we're going to go ahead and customize our own channel so people won't stumble upon like a really blank and empty channel that nobody's going to be attracted to. So in order to get started, we're going to click on Stream on Mixer right here. And then we're going to click on Get Started Now. And then right here, we want to click on Customize. Okay, so then we will see these kinds of boxes such as the information section, your avatar, your actual channel description, your social thumbnail, your chat channel background, your channel offline image, all that. So we're going to start off with the first one. So let's say that we're going to type in on this channel, you can expect live streams, including let's for example, Fortnite gameplay along with GTA five. Let's plays and a lot more follow to get notified. So that's basically what you can do for your information. So then when you're done, you want to click on save and let's move on to our avatar. So we're going to click right here and we're going to select an image of ourselves. Okay, so I picked this photo. So I'm going to crop it down just a little bit. So everything is nice in the screen. We're going to click upload. Okay, so then we're going to move on to our channel descriptions. So I'm going to type in what I have right here for my also my Twitter account. So I'm going to change the sub count because we just reached 280,000 subscribers. So then we will have like YouTube content creator, uh, 23 entrepreneur, Dutch, 280,000 subscribers. So that's what you can also fill in as your channel description. And right here, you can also pick your channel background. I would leave this like standard and you know, how like the way it is. But what you can also do is you can also pick your channel offline image. So meaning that when people go to your channel, when you are offline, you can also add in a photo where it says, for example, like I'm currently offline, please follow to get notified when I'm going live, all that. That's what you can do by just clicking change image. You can create that one in Photoshop, in paint it doesn't really matter and you can also upload it straight away okay so right here it says past streams and this will also be visible on your mixer channel because right here it says past streams are generated with every time you stream and will be kept for 14 days so let's say that you're going to go live tomorrow and you have streamed for two hours and you will stop the stream you will see that past live stream for 14 days and then it will disappear also probably to save space on the, on the servers or the mixer website but you can also like upload highlights and stuff which is for example like clips right here it says clips are created from highlights of your stream and will be kept for 14 days as well. Okay, so right here you can configure like the users. So let's say that you want to have a friend of yours be a moderator. You can type in his username right here in this bar and then you can just drag them under to the moderator section and they can also ban timeout and delete messages in your chat right here you will see the people that you have banned and right here you can see your channel editors can update your channel page title via the slash set title command and other properties so let's say that you're live streaming and your friend need to change the title for example you can also place them under the editors category and they can just update things right away so right here you have all kinds of stickers that you can also uncheck and check the ones that you want to use we also have effects right here and obviously the rallies. Now here's the interesting part. Can you earn money with Mixer? And the answer is obviously yes. It is actually the same as Twitch. When you're a Twitch partner, you will get advertisements before your video. You can play live ads as well. So you just need to fill out this form. But I don't really think that most people without a couple thousand followers on Mixer would be accepted because obviously it's based on views. And if you only have like maybe 10, 20 or 30, 40 viewers per live stream, it's not gonna generate you more than a couple, you know, 20, 20, 30 cents maybe per month. So I wouldn't really just, you know, focus on monetizing your live stream that much at first, but that's basically an option in the long run.
Okay guys, so right here we're back on the information page. So we have done the information section or avatar as you can see. Also the channel description, uh, the channel background that you can also change and the channel offline image that you can change. You can also create a thumbnail for your live stream. So let's say that you're going to live stream GTA 5. You can just load in a GTA 5 image or like a thumbnail you would upload for a GTA 5 video on YouTube. It is really, really cool. So guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to go ahead and check out own3d.tv for all the assets that you need in terms of like live streaming and all that thanks a lot for them for sponsoring this video i want to thank guys for watching if you like this video smash the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials and i will see you guys obviously in my next video